Hi Geminis, welcome back to my channel. So here we're about to do a general reading for your sign. This may or it may not resonate with everyone. Again, this is general, so please just take it how it fits for you, all right? We're gonna go through the uh, main energies first, then we'll clarify, and then we'll also pull your advice messages from Spirit at the end. All right, so let's start with you first, Jimmy. You guys have the Seven of Swords, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Page of Cups. Some of you, there was an ending here, yep, a breakup, or you and this person just haven't really been in contact on a regular basis here um, lately, all right? Maybe somebody goes to the connection or walked away because there was deception here with the Seven of Swords, lying, cheating, sneaking, or somebody just not being up front. I don't know if it was you or them, but I feel like some of you, you do still have love for this person though, regardless of whatever happened, you're still attracted to them, but you're not opening up a whole lot here as far as how you feel or either, again, there's not a lot of communication with you and this person. All right, some of you, you're focusing just more on finances or work. Some of you, maybe you've gone back to work or you're planning on it, looking for another job possibly, or you could be, you know, building on a business here for a few of you. You're just focused on your finances and your stability, okay? Maybe not so much this person anymore. All right, guys, don't get me wrong. Some of you still want to work on this, though, okay, because the Eight of Pentacles is about putting in work. So you may still want to, you know, work on this connection. But I feel like you're taking your time here um, with this Page of Cups. All right. Now, they've got the Death card, the King of Wands, and also the Page of Cups. Both of you have the Page of Cups in the same position. Okay. Some of you, there's children involved here. Okay. Um, I don't know if children have affected this connection or if you guys have kids with each other, other people, whatever the case is, that may be, um, you know, an issue here for somebody. But um, some of you could be dealing with a Scorpio. This does represent endings. OK, it also can speak about change and transformation as well. So I feel like some of you, yes, this may have ended or maybe this person walked away or maybe you did, but I feel like they're still very much so attracted to you with this King of Wands, okay? They find you to be someone who is quite magnetic as well. There's a lot of chemistry between you and this person. And I feel like they do want to come towards you, but it seems like they may be breadcrumbing you or they're not really opening up a lot about how they feel, okay? Even though the feelings are there with this Page of Cups though, okay? So um, in the past position, we've got the Knight of, sorry, the Nine of Swords, the Seven of swords the moon and the nine of cups a few of you could have been dealing with a pisces there was deception here for sure okay um secrets lies illusions um anxiety okay because somebody was being very uh selfish here with this nine of cups yes this is a very positive card it represents satisfaction and wish fulfillment okay but it can also mean someone who is very self-absorbed okay so maybe this person really only cared about their own desires, wants, and needs, okay? And maybe they weren't really putting you first. All right, guys, for some of you. But anyway, let's go through and clarify, okay? Spirit, please clarify the Seven of Swords, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Page of Cups for Geminis. Clarify the Seven of Swords, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Page of Cups. All right, so we've got Dark Knight of the Soul, and it says confusion, illusions, anxiety, despair, rejection, trapped, soul tie, transformations, lessons, and karma. All right, so somebody here could be going through the Dark Knight of the Soul, okay? Um, you know, some of you, it may not be you, though, okay? Again, this is general. It could be the other person. Just take whatever energy resonates with you, okay? But yeah, some of you, this was a tough situation here dealing with this person, all right? It really um, either frustrated you or you went through a lot here, basically, all right? Now, we also have telepathy, and it says, there is a magnetic bond between us. I can feel when you're thinking about me, and I had just said that, too, that you and this person have a lot of chemistry, okay? Again, it could be a telepathic bond, um, if you find yourself just thinking of them randomly throughout the day, even when you're focusing on other things, it could be uh, because their energy is um, still, you know, around you or they're still thinking of you. And there's some sort of mental or uh, telepathic connection here for a few of you with this person. OK, I hope that makes sense. And then we also have thinking and it says, I think of you a lot more than you know. Yep. So some of you, you still have love for them. You do. And you think of them a lot. But um, you may not be taking any action here towards this person. Others of you, you're getting over this is what I feel here, okay? You don't have time for that dark uh, dark night of the soul energy. Maybe you had to learn a lesson here and you learned it and it's just time for you to move on. Okay, we're going to see what else comes out. Spirit, please clarify the death card, the king of wands, and the page of cups for uh, Gemini's person. Clarify the death card, the king of wands, and the page of cups. All right, one more. 
Okay, so they have wonder and it says, I often wonder if you still feel the same about me. Yeah, because some of you, this has been over, this ended, okay? Um, or it seems like it's over here, but they're still interested in you. Like I said, they're still attracted to you. And then um, here again, it says, I wonder if you still think about me or feel the same about me. So yeah, this person, um, you know, they still think of you, even if you guys aren't together. We also have passion. I just said that as well. And says the chemistry we have is intoxicating, something I've never felt with anyone else. All right. So yeah, it's pretty intense here. All right. For some of you and then it says between worlds and it says a part of me doesn't want to lose you but the other part of me is ready to leave you alone okay guys so yeah this person could be a little bit confused here or maybe they just don't know what they want all right so yeah i feel like they don't really want this to be over for forever okay but they need to make up their mind or they need to step their game up basically okay you guys and come forward and uh, open up about how they feel, okay? If you guys even want to hear it, some of you, like I said, you're moving on from this. All right, Jimmy. So anyway, let's clarify. Um, here, please clarify the Seven of Swords again, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Page of Cups for Jimmy. Clarify the Seven of Swords, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Page of Cups. All right, so you guys have the Nine of Cups. Page of Pentacles and also the Ace of Cups. Some of you are still in love with this person. Yeah, you still have feelings for them. Maybe you want a second chance here as well. Um, but I feel like you could be breadcrumbing them in a way, meaning that you're not ready to fully invest in this again or you're not offering much. It's not because you don't have it or some of you, you don't want to. Others of you, you do, but you're holding back here maybe to see how things um, progress or to see if this person's going to come towards you first. OK, I hope that makes sense because some of you, they are your wish fulfillment. OK, it's something about this connection that you really enjoyed. It could be, you know, the physical attraction, or the sex here or whatever it was. You know, you did enjoy it, but again, there's deception around this. Okay, you guys. So some of you, you're not completely over this person yet. Okay. And to be honest, I don't feel like they're over you either. Okay, Gemini. So let's go through and clarify. All right. Spirit, please clarify the death card, the king of wands, and also the page of cups for Gemini's person. Clarify the uh, death card, the king of wands, and the page of cups again. One more. Clarify the death card. The king of, oops, the king of wands and the page of cups. So they've got the four of swords. Yeah, they do think about you a lot. They do, but um, and yeah, some of you could be dealing with a Virgo here, okay, or somebody who has uh, Virgo in their chart. But anyway, the four of swords is about taking a break, okay. So yeah, maybe they don't want this to be over forever or permanently. But I don't really feel like they're putting any action into this either, okay, guys? Or again, they're breadcrumbing you here. I feel like they're still thinking of you, though, because the uh, Four of Swords can represent contemplation as well, okay? Um, and then the Seven of Pentacles is about waiting. Maybe they're trying to see if you're going to come back or if you're going to, you know, be the one to take some action here. I feel like they are ready to invest or do more than they were in the past, okay? Even though, or they know they need to, okay? Um, yeah, because in the past, some of you, they weren't, they were just all about themselves. All right. But yeah, with the hermit, this is someone who's kind of isolated. Maybe they're, you know, pulling their energy back. They're not talking very much. Or again, they go to this connection, but the hermit is somebody who can be in deep thought as well. So yeah, I feel like they do still think about you. Okay. But they're just not really, um, being very talkative here. Okay. Or somebody got ghosted. So that's what that is there. Now let's go through and pull your advice messages. Okay. Gemini, these may pertain to this connection. Or it could be about something else in your life, okay? Just, you know, general advice. Take it how it applies for you, all right? Spirit, please show me three messages that you have for Geminis. What three messages do you want to say to Geminis here? All right. Okay, so we've got surrender your fear of change. And it says, the universe is reminding you that you are cared for always. Whether you're afraid of a change in your job, your health, or a relationship, or if you fear aging or death, repeat the affirmation, I have faith that all is well, okay? Yeah, because some of you, maybe you went through a lot of changes with this uh, situation or this person, okay? Again, this dark night of the soul energy, but, um, you know, others of you, you could be going through it now. Some of you, this already happened, but whatever this means for you, even if it doesn't have anything to do with this connection, spirit is saying to release your fear of change, okay? Um, now, next, we also have surrender your attachment to results and it says the formula for success is to do all you can to make things happen and then let go of the results 
holding on too tightly to a desired outcome can sabotage it, okay? And we also have surrender to creativity. And it says, let your imagination soar. Stay open to all creative ideas about how to pursue a dream or solve a problem, okay? So that's what came out, Gemini's. I hope this resonated. And if it, do, uh, if it did, feel free to like, share, comment, and subscribe, okay? And also be sure to hit the bell notification as well. That way you're aware of when I upload new content, okay? Wish you guys the best. Take care.